Hi guys, Andy here, and today we have our Ipsy glam bag for November. If you want to see what is in my bag and hear all of the good things, oh, it's so fuzzy this month, then stay tuned. As always, everything that is on my face will be listed in the description box. And if you like makeup, unboxings, project painting with a little bit of horror sprinkled in, please consider subscribing as I would love to have you here. Let's go ahead and get into this month's unbagging. All right, so if you don't know anything about Ipsy, this is currently a $13 a month bag with a $1.99 handling fee. As of December, this will be going up a dollar to $14 a month. You are guaranteed five deluxe size items with one choice around the middle of the month. You do occasionally get full size items, but they're not guaranteed. And yeah, there is up to $70 worth of value is what they're saying. We will get into that when we do. The bags, I got pink. You could have also gotten a purple one, and then it's just like a champagne -y gold color inside. You do also get a card, which tells you the theme for the month, which this month is the glamest show on earth. Generally, it goes over your products on the inside. Sometimes it doesn't, which I hate when they send you a card that doesn't. Mine does. It'll tell you the retail value and then a little blurb about it, but I do also do that on my own if you're new here because I figure out what the actual sample size products are worth so that we can go over what our actual bag is worth and I find out a little even more in depth about the product than what this is going to tell us. So let's get into my bag. We're just pulling things out here. So first things first, I'm the realist. This was my choice. This is what I picked. This is from Cab Cosmetics, and this is the quad in the color story Naked. And this is neutral mattes and shimmers, long wearing, highly pigmented, and silky formula. Will help you effortlessly sculpt and define your eyes. So, I love Cab Cosmetics. Everything I've tried from them is absolutely stunning. So there are the two mattes there. I did not get out a makeup wipe for this. Still, still using the pumpkin spice wipes and I'm not mad about it. Ow. I sliced my finger cutting potatoes and it hurts so bad and I'm very annoyed about it. But let's swatch these two shimmers. Also, all of these things did come with nice outer packaging and whatnot, but my hands have been extra ouchy, so I did already take all the packaging off, so it would be easier for me to show you guys. Ipsy says that this retails for $26 full size, which is four grams. And I, we, I have issues. First of all, when you look, when I looked at my profile, I was, this is shown as a full size product and this is not. This is a deluxe sample because this is only 3.6 grams of product. I don't know why we couldn't get that extra 0.4 grams, but that's the whole color story. I do think this is beautiful. I am very excited to have this as I chose it. On Cab's website, this is $18. Like, the full-size quad is $18. I don't understand why Ipsy is saying that this quad retails for $26. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't know why we're inflating prices. I have an idea. We'll get to that at the end, but we will get there. Next, we have from Jekka Black. This is their hydrating primer. This is a two-in-one primer that creates a smooth, even canvas for long-wearing makeup while hydrating skin with shea butter and aloe juice. So this is a 10 milliliter sample. I do find that that's an interesting applicator for a face primer. It does come out white like that. Doesn't really have a scent. It feels really nice and silky on the skin. The full size is $20 for 20 mils. This is 10 mils, so this I retail for $10. Again, if 
Casey is saying this full size is $20. On Jekka Black's website, this is $13.99 for a full size for 20 mils. So, uh, again, why are, why are we inflating the prices? And actually, so I should have... I based the retail of mine off of Ipsy's, so my numbers are also a little off, but I'm not going to adjust them now because that'll make our prices even a little lower than what I have, and it just, it is what it is. So again, why are we inflating the prices? We'll, we'll get there. Next, from Touch and Soul, this is the No Problem Toner. This is an exfoliating toner formulated with glycolic and salicylic acid to gently cleanse your face and shrink the look of pores for smoother, clearer skin. This is a 30 mil sample. It is sealed, so I'm not going to open it because I just opened a brand new toner. I love getting toners in bags, so I'm not mad. Uh, if I'm going to get any skincare in my bag, I'm happy to have another toner. Full size is 160 mil for $18, so I retailed this for $3.30, so not a very pricey sample. My issue with this, this is not on Touch and Soul's website. The only place I could find this product was on Amazon, so are we getting old product? Because I've been having this issue where we're not finding the products on the brand's websites. I'm only able to find them on Amazon, Mercari, third-party sites like that. So are we getting older product? If so, like that's a problem, in my opinion. I don't want older product. Next, we have from Tarte. This is the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. This is a lash extension experience in a tube. Features micro tubing technology that wraps each lash in lengthening tubes, delivering 24 hour flake free, smudge proof, and waterproof results, leaving no residue behind. Smells, actually, smells really good. <laughs> That's the wand on this mascara. I have never tried a tubing mascara, so I'm actually very excited to try this. I've heard good things about it. The travel size is four mils for $15. This is two mils, so I retailed this for $7.50. Let me know in the comments. Like, I understand what a tubing mascara does, but is there a reason why we want that effect? Is it just so that it's more gentle on the lashes? Is that the reason? What is the reason? Like, I just, I'm curious. But I am very excited to try that. And the last thing in my bag, which I'm very excited for, I did already toss out the box for this, but this is a fragrance. And this is from Juliet Has a Gun. And this is the Lust for Sun fragrance. And the top notes are bergamot, coconut, and freesia. Middle notes of Gardenia, Manoi, Orange boss Blossom, and Ylang Ylang. And bottom notes of Ambroxan, Musks, and Vanilla. Full size is a 7.5 mil for $30. So this 5 milliliter spritzer I valued for $20. So I'm very happy that it's a spritzer bottle, not a roller. And... This smells so good. I've never tried a Juliet Has a Gun fragrance. Let's see, because I am ready for the day. It does, I don't like floral fragrances, and this does have a, a hint of the floral, but in a way that I'm not upset about. I do wish I got more of the coconut note. I'm not very good at describing fragrance but I will definitely use this up I don't know if I would buy a full size but if someone bought this for me I would absolutely use it and love it but I don't know if I would go buy this fragrance but it's good I am happy I honestly always love when Ipsy sends me a fragrance because I'm just so bad at buying myself fragrance I just I can never justify the purchase for myself so based on Ipsy's inflated prices of those couple items, their bag would be $76.80, which they tell you you're going to get up to $70 in value. So that sounds great, but 
actually, my bag came out to $57, which you're paying $14, $15 a month, $57, like that's still a great value. I just don't understand, are we getting old product? Are we inflating prices? Why? Like, there's such a big subscription that I don't feel they need to do that. Like, they could have still put in products that would have gotten us that value. And, like, had they put in the extra 0.4 grams, this still would have been $18 instead of $16.20 for this sample. Like, that, that would have still been, like, a great full-size product. I don't understand why we had to skimp on 0.4 grams of product on the eyeshadow. I just, I don't know. I like the bag this month. It's not my favorite. I don't like the handle. That is what I don't like. I get that, like, you could use this as a, like, a clutch now, but that's not what I use Ipsy bags for ever. I do love how soft it is. This doesn't scream November to me. I mean, I don't know what would, but overall, I'm just not that excited for this one's bag. And that's just how I felt over the last couple months. But I did get add-ons this month because I was in need of serums. I have been running out of serums, so I placed some add-on orders. So I got five products and I did pretty darn good if I do say so myself. So for $3, I paid $3.50 for each one of these items. So we'll start with, this is from Beauty Stat. This is the Universal C Skin Refiner. And this is a five milliliter deluxe sample. This retails for $14.15 for this tiny sample that's only filled up to here. This vitamin C serum features 20% stabilized L-ascorbic acid, which is the purest form of vitamin C, to bring brightness, clarity, and overall more even tone to complexion, and this is an SPF of 50. So in a 30 mil, like the full size of this, retails for $85, which is insane to me. So I'm, my skin really likes vitamin C, so I'm very happy to give this little guy a try. Next from Nina Skincare, this is a mineral serum, this 10 milliliter deluxe sample retails for $10. Combines nourishing effects of glacial mineral water, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C and E to give your skin deep, lasting hydration and reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. The full size of this is $30 for 30 mils. I love that it has a little pump, but I've never tried anything from this brand, but it sounded like a nice serum. I'm not mad. Next, we have... This guy, this is from Lancer. This is a Redness Relief Intense. This sample right here, 7.5 mils, retails for $17.25. Immediately reduces redness caused by inflammation, vasodilation, skin irritation, and sunburn. Ingredients like Manuka Honey, Centella Asiatica Extract, and Epura Bark help leave you with a clearer complexion. The full size 50 milliliter of this is $115. So I'm very excited to see what this does for the rosacea on my face. I will absolutely keep you guys posted once I open that and use that. Next from Innisfree, this is a green tea seed serum. 15 milliliter sample. This retails for $5.70. This is the one that I didn't get the most value on, but I'm still excited to try it. This is made with green tea extract and green tea seed oil. Super rich in amino acids, antioxidants, and minerals to strengthen skin's protective barrier and hold on to moisture. 80 mils of this retails for $30. So I've heard good things about Innisfree, so I'm excited to try it. And this is the only one that didn't have like a protective seal, which I just dropped the lid. And it smells really good. I'm just gonna put that over here because I'll find the lid later. And last but not least, we have from Elemis. This is the Superfood Black Currant Jelly Exfoliator. This 15 milliliter sample retails for $10.80. This gentle yet effective, this gently yet effectively cleanses skin of dead cells 
to a super smooth and radiant complexion packed with black seed oil and grape seed oil to help nourish and hydrate. 50 mils of this retails for $36. I always hear great things about Elemis, and I don't currently have any exfoliators in my collection, so I figured I wanted to give this a try because I need an exfoliator. So all of my five samples, I spent $18 on the five, and my value was $57.90. So I think that that's pretty great. I'm pretty happy with that. So those are my add-ons. That's my whole bag. I would love to hear your thoughts, your comments, your concerns, anything down below. What did you get in your bag this month? Are you seeing the value? Are you happy with it? Um... I would just love to hear any of your thoughts and everything. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.